Hey everyone, welcome back to James Repair Shop. I got a little uh, repair video on a 65 Thunderbird door card. This could apply to many of these uh, fiber made ones. They're just made of like a paper fiber that Ford pressed together with some kind of uh, binder. Uh, this is from the driver's side, right here. So what happens to these is the bottom uh, will get soft, uh, moisture gets in them, they start to delaminate, or not really just delaminate, they just come apart. And uh, if you're lucky enough to catch it before it actually breaks off and uh, there's nothing left, then you can do what I'm gonna do. So uh, let's get into this and I'll show you how I'm gonna fix this to make it uh, sturdy for the next 60 years. All right, for this little project, I'm using uh, fibergla fiberglass resin. And uh, I'll just saturate this car door card in the bottom section with uh, fiberglass resin. And then when that cures, it'll stiffen that right up. So to hold it in place while the resin um, does its job, I, would, I have a piece of timber here. It's quite a heavy piece of rough cut and, I, and it's covered with uh, packing tape. So I just put it up under the edge like that, make sure the full length of it. Now you'll see that the, the card itself is distorted and it's not gonna fit very well, so I gotta have to clamp it somehow. So keep that up underneath there. So I have a couple different ways of clamping it. I've got one piece that will be going in again with uh, packing tape, because the packing tape I don't care about. And if it sticks to the resin, that's fine. So I have one that's gonna be going on the inside. And then I have this other one I made up again with packing tape and a, a series of uh, wood screws. And that will, I'll set that down, and that's gonna clamp right over top of like that. So in order to keep it all down in place, where did my clamps go? I have a couple of uh, these quick grip clamps and I'll just show you before I start. And they're covered with uh, packing tape as well. So I'll get the ends lined up. And I'll put it like this, like so. And then the other one on the other end. And I'll, this is how I'll start this. Sort of like that. So that straightens that all out. And the purpose of, and then I would put this wooden, uh, with the wood screws over top to clamp down on the lift, like here. So we'll put that on like that. And then this piece here is gonna go inside, again with packing tape. And it's just to kind of bring it all in. And I have a couple of, uh, of these auto body clamps, like this. And that'll sandwich us all together. So that's what the plan is. I have two of these clamps, these ones here. So I'll leave those over here so I don't forget them. <clears throat> and that's my clamping system. All right, let's get in and mix some resin up and we'll uh, slather some in on this door card. I'm gonna mix up about a quarter of a can of resins. Let's get this done. I think that's stirred enough. A little chip brush here, two inch chip brush. Clean this off, set it aside. Set it on top of the resin. So anyway, now I'm just gonna pour a little in here. For now, and we'll move it around. And like I said, I was gonna leave these clamps for now and they're all protected. I'll just work around them. So you want this to soak in really well. So don't, don't go sparing on it. Now I did this on the passenger side door last year and uh, it worked really, it's still holding up as just as hard as can be. And this little lip, it fits down in a groove in the door and I'll show you where that is. I'll put, I'll put a picture of it up. So, uh, Again, if you're not familiar with these cars, that's why well, that's what I'm doing. This this whole lip fits down in the groove on the door. But I'll show you.
Now I'm going to put a little more, now that I got the, all the rest done, I'm going to keep putting some around on this lip here, because this is the part that needs the most right here. And I got the tape all over this board, so don't worry about going outside the boundaries, because it'll just break off or you can grind it off later. All right, so let me continue on with this. I'll get her all done, you get the idea, and I'll get this all soaked in, and then we'll clamp it. I've got it all uh, juiced up, we'll call it. So let's put in this one first. Well, actually, I'm going to tighten this one up because I'm just going to get it started, and then we'll put the other one on. There we go. So we'll get this one on here and this one on like this. I needed the access to those screws. So let's get these ones in place. Make sure I don't cover my screws up. Okay, now that's all clamped. Seems to be good and straight. and we'll wait for it to cure. Well, while the uh, fiberglass resin is curing, this is the little lip that I was talking about, and that door card just fits right down in that lip. So there's not much there to hold it, so the stronger you can make it, the better it is. All right, it's been a few days later. I went ahead and unclamped the uh, door panel. It's all hardened up, so let's go take a look at it. It's all done up nicely. Nice and hard. Look at that. Yeah, this is a good fix uh, for one of these door panels. Look at that, it's as stiff as stiff. All right, so this is all hardened up, and I'll get this put on, and here's uh, what I'm using for a dust shield on this car. What it is is a six mil Mylar. It's uh, reflective on one side and it's just white on the other. So I've been putting the reflective coat outward. I did it on the back quarter windows and I did it on the passenger window, passenger door rather. Um, trying to modernize a bit. It's fully waterproofing and it's better, I think better than those, uh, just those, whatchamacallit, the papers that we were putting on before that came with it originally. That's pretty crude stuff. Here's what it is right here. It's tough, it's tough. It's a, like I say, it's a mylar. It's very, very durable. It won't get wet. Anyway, I just thought I would experiment a bit with this. All right, so let's get her put on the car. I'm using this butyl synthetic rubber to uh, use as a seal. So I'll put a bead around where the, the old beads were. And then I'll just put my uh, mylar uh, piece on. Now we got a kind of a mess of stuff there, but let's put this on anyway. So I'm going to put it as far forward as I can get, so I only have to trim it off one side. Hopefully you can see this. Sort of like so. It's just messy stuff. <laughs> Down some. I want it to be in on the where that lip is right there. There we go. He's in the lip. And then I gotta cut uh, out spots for the door handles and got the door handle, crank handles, the cables, and the mirror adjuster. So let me get all that done. It's on. What a messy job that was. I got more on me than uh, anywhere else, I think. Anyhow, uh, ready for the door handle. I got the window, uh, the uh, door handle, the door opener handle there cut out. I got the uh, remote mirror thing, uh, controls. And I got the, this is for the, the vent window. And then I got the light switch, or for the light, the courtesy light wiring through and the handle. All right, where is my door panel? Let's see if we can get that baby on there. Let me get this on. Oh, let me 
these lined up. There. Oh, well, the rest will have to be held in with, there she goes, down in place. Perfect. All right, everyone, that's it. Now I gotta find where I, what I did with that bezel, uh, that, hold that in. And I may end up having to take this back off to get it in there. You know, pull that cup out. And that's it. Uh, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me put a door panel on. I already went enough with that already. Um, the only thing I can say is make sure you mix your resin properly. Uh, I guess if you're in Florida and it's high humidity, you're going to mix it different than I do up here where it's cooler and uh, low humidity. Uh, other than that, I can say is when you're clamping it, make sure you clamp it well enough to keep this good and straight. Otherwise, it won't fit back down in the groove very well. Don't go sparingly on the uh, resin. Make sure it's soaked in good. Mind you, you only get a short time to work with it, but then you could always mix it a little lighter uh, so that it doesn't set up so quick. But that's it. Um, that's how I fixed my door panels. Uh, hopefully they'll last another 60 years. Not that I have 60 years in me to see whether it does or not, but someone may still have this car in 60 years time. I have no idea, but uh, that's it. And I'm going to find the bits and bobs for this thing, get it all put back together. And uh, you guys all enjoy your week. And we'll see you in the next one.